Can artificial intelligence make someday be thinking like you, me, and every human being? That's always been one of the most appealing plots in sci-fi movies, and it's also the reason why many people don't take it seriously. However, what I'm trying to tell here is that it's probably no insane nonsense. Well, no wonder few of you agree because a sci-fi writer doesn't have to be responsible for what's described in his book. We are all sure that a computer could never think; they only do what they're programmed to do. Siri could respond to your request to beatbox because it was programmed. Google Translate knows over a hundred languages because behind it are a group of excellent programmers. However, few would, den- few would deny that humans, humans, dogs, and most living creatures are conscious. Maybe other than the mosquito just killed in the morning. So, what is the special thing that makes them different from plants and robots to have consciousness? Senior high biology classes have given us an answer: that consciousness is based on the electrochemical signals transmitted through a distributed and complicated network of, of many neuron units, and of course, the biggest is normally called brain. But let's go one more step ahead. The basic part of each neuron of your brain are nothing more than protein, fat, and mostly water, which are apparently not living as well. So, how does consciousness consciousness arise like something out of nothing? Sad to say, but to the most rigorous degree, the answer is that what we know about consciousness is almost the zero. What neuroscientists have been racking their brains about is just how these seemingly silly molecules can just pile up to form a thinking stuff. Yet, what they get is just a zero, um, as an approximately zero. Yet, what I'm going to introduce is a seemingly fantastic view, which has managed to get recognized and accepted by an increasing number of scientists over decades. Consciousness emerges from complexity. If you hook up in enough non-sentient components, then consciousness will appear, including neurons and even silicon microchips. To prove this, I want to introduce something special. In 1968, John Conway did, did an experiment named Game of Life on his computer. He created an environment of two-dimensional grids of square cells, each of which is, is in one of two possible states: alive or dead. Each cell interacts with its eight neighbors by following merely three simple rules. To summarize, it's just one simple principle: those with too many neighbors die of resource shortages. Those with few neighbors die of isolation. He set random cells to be alive at first, then left all of these computation over to his computer. After large amounts of attempts, he discovers some fixed patterns that appear to be showing complex behaviors. Behind are some examples of patterns that shows few features of life. Um, I'm, and I'm sorry, there's no picture. And but I, but I'll tell you the features of life: um, motion, maintenance of a constant state, and even re- reproduction. What Kami's life game, what Kami's life game reveals, gives just the consensus of how life originated. Here's another real life evidence. In 1952, Stanley Miller sealed several types of simple inorganic matters, like water and methane, inside of inside of flask, being continuously heated and struck by lightning sparks. After a day, five amino acids were found, which are necessary compounds of life. Chemists also did the same to organic molecules like DNA and protein to find spontaneously formed closed systems with material exchanged with the outside world. That is to say, the simplest form of life emerged from nothing. What if we go on to apply this theory to consciousness? In that case, it seems quite reasonable for consciousness to appear after a complex life reform. Life formed, whether it happened gradually or instantaneously. But here, I want to go a little further. According to the hypothesis of emergence, all systems that are complex enough are possible to develop life and even consciousness. And complex systems are everywhere around us: ant colonies, global climate, and the traffic of a city. If the hypothesis of emergence is right, do all of these mentioned above have consciousness? What will it be like if the internet starts to ask what it is? What if the human society as a whole realizes existence? One possible explanation is that human society is not complicated enough. Even seven billion people are still far fewer than all the molecules in a living creature. Or maybe it's more horrible. It's right there, but it doesn't know how to express its thoughts. Just like a cell has no idea of how the entire body is running if it's conscious. So to conclude, the answer to whether AI could have consciousness is still controversial. And all of these, all what I mentioned above, is all of these things that I mentioned before are just are just a hypothesis. Then 
Despite this, it's increasingly clear that the barrier that we used to have blind faith in between animate and inanimate beings have already blurred. And no matter what will happen in the future, just keep up with the trend, stay hungry, and stay foolish. That's all. Thank you.